goes there? A friend of the temple. Fluarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. Why you're not rotting in a cell at this moment, I cannot fathom! We are betrayed! Try our swords, men! Defend the temple! Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. The Pope? Assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol could We will not prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What must I do? Go to the tower. Take the sword and the book. Hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I know.
Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the thirteenth generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! in flames of hunger and wrath. Thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys have already their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence, uh, AD-16, B-13, I-87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, Father. Quickly, quickly! 
is for stealing. to stand still. What have we here? A thief? N no, sir. Sorry. of you. Damn it! The hell's going on? Damn you! Hurry! Through here! Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen! Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Hurry, something's happened. Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of their criminals, we Elise. should all be called barbarians. Come here, girl. Now. Father? Come away, boy. 
unfairly at cards, so you stoop to thieving, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man! Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. I've got it, Victor. I say. Oh, sorry. Pardon, madam. Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. Blacksmith like you probably can't even read or watch. Come over here and say that! Uh, no. <laughs> 